Hello and welcome all in this video. So we are going to discuss about some page diseases and we have to focus on particularly bacterial diseases in fishes. So the illness in fishes can be identified by some common symptoms like the fishes which causes disease can be can becomes restless then there is a loss of balance and the fish is incapable of maintaining its position in the column of water again we can found that the fish tends to lie or rest try to rest at the bottom or floating at the surface some discoloration patches are found on the body of the fish then tails and fins do not seem to function normally then gill appears pale timid condition is found in fish that is the sick fish is timid then also found gray excretion on skin sometimes bleeding and they show aimless movements these are some common symptoms particularly found in the fish diseases that is sick fishes sooner or later become more prone to secondary infection due to their lower body resistance so therefore becomes more relevant to identify them and categorize their sickness then about the bacterial diseases there are some bacterial diseases which particularly found in the fishes in that first type of disease first type of bacterial disease that is infectious dropsy having a name infectious dropsy this is one of the bacterial disease and infectious dropsy is caused by a bacterium caused by a bacteria pseudomonas punctata this pseudomonas punctata causes the infectious dropsy type of bacterial disease to the fish and this is characterized by accumulation of yellow colored fluid inside the body cavity these are some symptoms about the infectious dropsy disease that is accumulation of yellow colored fluid inside the body cavity scales protrude scales protrude and when ulcers occurs ulcers appears on the skin fin fin lengthen the length of the fins increase and deformation of backbone deformation of ba backbone these are some common symptoms generally found in the infectious dropsy accumulation of yellow colored fluid inside the body cavity scales protrude ulcers appear on the skin fin lengthen the length of the fin is increased and deformation of backbone these are some symptoms found in the infectious dropsy type of disease and the fishes try to jump out of the water due to the accumulation due to approach of this type of pseudomonas punctata so to that particular type of disease infectious dropsy we have to give some treatment to that fishes which causes this disease first of all we can remove that particular disease the fishes from the prawn then destruction of fish we can destroy that fish and followed by draining drying and disinfecting the fish pond with quick lime the first and most important thing we have to take action over that particular disease fishes we can remove that fish from the uh, water bodies and destruction of fishes and followed by the draining after removing this particular bacterial diseases fish then followed by draining drying and disinfecting the fish pond with quick lime then again we can use the uh, the deep deep treatment deep treatment to the infected fishes 
the infected fishes may be cured by a 2 minute dip in 5 mg per liter kmn4 solution this dip treatment is also useful the infected fishes may be cured by a 2 minute dip in 5 mg 5 mg per liter kmn4 solution and due to which uh, and again by applying streptomycin or chloromycin with food we can gives the streptomycin and chloromycin mixed with the food and this is also useful for control over the infectious dropsy type of disease so this was about the first bacterial disease which is takes place in the fish now the second disease second bacterial disease phrenoclasis of salamon phrenoclasis of salamons this is one of the most important bacterial disease of wild and farmed salamons and especially in those fishes which live in the dirty water containing a large amount of decaying matter this disease is caused by aromonas salmonosidia aromonas salmonosidia causes this phrenoclasis of salmon type of disease and this aromonas is a rod shape rod shape uh, bacteria and which is about 2 to 3 micron in length the disease is characterized by or the symptoms which is found by the diseases in the fish that is appearance of bloody boils appearance of bloody boils on the skin and almost all the viscerous visceral organs of the fish they are having some bloody boils on the skin and also on the visceral organ of the fish bursting of such a type of boils spread the disease spread the disease among the other fishes of ponds suppose that boils when busted the material from that boil is spread in the water body and then other fishes also can get this type of disease because this boils contains pus like substances so the treatment which is given to this type of disease about the treatment draining that is to drain the pond and treat with lime this is one of the important treatment given to control over this phrenoclasis of salmon type of bacterial disease again the treatment is given to remove to remove the infected fishes from from the pond we can remove the infected fishes from the pond and supplying food containing antibiotics like sulfonamides sulfonamide type of that is removing the severely infected fishes from the pond and by supplying food containing antibodies like sulfonamides is also useful to control over the phrenoclasis then also we can use disinfected by solution of acriflavin disinfection may be done with the solution of acriflavin these are some treatments given to the phrenoclasis of salmon type of disease third cotton mouth disease cotton mouth disease this disease is caused by the filamentous bacteria like pexibacteria pexibacteria type of filamentous bacteria causes cotton mouth disease it is characterized by presence of fungus like tufts we can detect this disease we can found the presence of fungus like tuft or tuft like fungus around the mouth presence of 
fungus like tufts around the mouth so the treatment which is given for this particular type of disease which is having a name quarter mouth disease the treatment the quarter mouth disease as well as red mouth disease may be treated by adding certain antibiotics like chloramphenicol certain antibiotics like chloramphenicol in the water the normally used antibiotics like chloramphenicol repeatedly we can use the dose of this chloramphenicol at 2 to 5 days interval we can get the good result over the cotton mouth disease then next one number 4 tail rot or fin rot this tail rot tail rot and fin rot it is a disease this disease is caused by various species of maxobacteria maxobacteria causes tail rot or fin rot to the fishes it is characterized by appearance of white lines along the margin of fins it is characterized by appearance of white lines along the margin of the fins and the line moves gradually towards the base of the fin and making them eroded the fin rays at first become brittle and later destroyed completely the infection can be spread onto the body of the fish and they can reach up to the connective tissue also so we have to control over this disease tail, tail rot or fin rot they are having some treatments keeping the fishes for 5 uh, 1.5 to 2 minute for 1.5 to 2 minute in 0.5% copper sulfate is a deep treatment can be given to this type of particular type of disease the fish that is by keeping the fishes for about 1.5 to 2 minute that is 1 and 1/2 to 2 minute 1 1 and 1/2 to 2 minute in 1 to 2 minute in 0.5% copper sulfate solution is very useful a bath in dilute solution of acriflavin or phenoxethol is also has the proved to be very effective against fin rot in case of serious infection in case of serious infection the infected parts are removed surgically and the wound disinfected by agno3 the fishes are then kept in k2cr2o7 solution we can also use some antibiotics like neomycin which can incorporate in the fish food that is antibodies like neomycin may also be incorporated in the fish with food can be useful for the control over tail rot or fin rot then about the fifth bacterial disease that is bacterial gill disease bacterial gill disease the disease is caused by maxobacteria bacterial gill disease is a disease caused by maxobacteria some symptoms are that is damaged gills this bacterial gill disease attack over the gill and they can damage the gills and the treatment given that is application of antibiotics like neomycin chloramphenicol we can apply the antibiotics like neomycin chloramphenicol may be useful in the treatment of bacterial gill disease in fish so we are discussing about the bacterial diseases of the fish and in our upcoming videos we will discuss about some another diseases which is particularly found in the fishes so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel to support me next sixth number the bacterial disease that is tuberculosis this tuberculosis disease is caused by mycobacterium pcm mycobacterium pcm causes as tuberculosis and they shows various symptoms that is tail or fin rot waxy coat on the body 
ulcers on the body nodules in internal organs loss of weight these are some symptoms common symptoms of the tuberculosis that is stale or fin rot waxy coat on the body ulcers on the body nodules in internal organs and loss of weight and these are some symptoms of this bacterial uh, tuberculosis this is and then the treatment which is given to this type of disease that is deep treatment is given for 1 minute in copper sulfate we can give deep treatment for 1 minute in copper sulfate solution for 3 to 4 days and we can also uh, ponds pond can be sterilized pond water can be sterilized with kmno for solution that is alternatively the fishes may be destroyed and the pond sterilized with kmno4 these are some treatments to the tuberculosis disease then number 7 kidney diseases of salmon kidney diseases of salmon the kidney disease of salmon is caused by corona bacterium which grows within the kidney and they can destroy the kidneys the treatment of this particular type of it can that is this uh, corona bacteria can multiply within fish tissues where it grows slowly within the kidneys causing causing chronic damage the treatment given for the disease the treatment of antibiotics is given and this antibiotic treatment is successfully work over the kidney disease of salmon number 8 cholamenaris cholamenaris is the disease caused by bacteria chondrococcus cholamenaris chondrococcus cholamenaris causes the cholamenaris type of disease in the fishes and it is often associated with low oxygen level of the pond water initially it is marked by appearance of discolored patches discolored patches on the body these patches spread later causing loss of scales the treatment for this particular cholamenaris type of disease that is they can uh, the treatment of pond with 1 ppm copper sulfate treatment of pond water with 1 ppm copper sulfate and also supply antibiotics like that teramycin with food and also we can give deep treatment for 2 minutes in copper sulfate solution these are some treatments given to the cholamenaris type of disease and next and last bacterial disease for this video vibriosis vibriosis is a bacterial disease of almost found in all species of fishes particularly in the salt water fishes and is caused by vibrio angularium vibrio angularium causes vibriosis type of disease this is a comma shaped bacteria and it multiplies in the uh, and it multiplies in the skin of fishes and they can the but they can produce toxins and produce these toxins acts on the circulating blood cells they can produce toxin and that can circulate in the blood cells and causing anemia to the fishes so they cause severe anemia so the treatment given for this particular disease that is deep treatment in copper sulfate solution and application of antibiotics with food may be considered as curative measure for vibriosis type of disease so this is all about this bacterial diseases their types then symptoms and treatment given thank you once again for watching this video